Hey kids, it's Captain Craig. I hope you're all having a wonderful week again this week. It's a gorgeous day here in Hilliard, Ohio. All the birds are out chirping, the chickens are squawking, and the weather is wonderful. I love these days. But that's not what I'm really excited about. Because next week, Kids Club 2021 starts at the Crossing Community Church in Hilliard, Ohio. That's one week from today. All of you kindergartners through fifth graders are welcome to join us live in person. <laughs> we'll be sharing Bible stories, playing games together, eating snacks together. I'm so excited, but your parents need to register you today. So please, parents, if you're watching this video, get your children registered here at the video, or you can register them at the Crossing Community Church website on Britton Parkway in Hilliard, Ohio. I'll look forward to seeing all of you kids next Sunday night. Now this week, I wanna share with you a story that's one of my favorites. It's the story Jesus told of the farmer and the seeds. And it goes like this. A farmer went out one day to plant his seeds. And as he threw handfuls of seeds all over, some of them fell on a path. The path is where people walked on it. And birds flew down and some of them ate all the seeds that were on the path. Now some of the seeds fell on rocky soil that wasn't very deep. It started to grow, but there wasn't enough dirt to nourish the roots so the little plants died. Some seeds fell in patches of weeds. The weeds were stronger than the little seedlings, and then the seedlings died as well. But some of the seeds fell on really rich, good soil. It started to grow and grow and got tall and strong, and at harvest time, the farmer got a hundred times more plants than he had planted. Now, when Jesus finished the story, the disciples asked him, what does that story mean? And Jesus said, you can understand it, but most people can't. The seed is what God says to men and women. Some of his words come to hard hearts and the devil steals them away. That is what this parable is all about. Jesus explained that our hearts are kind of like soil, and we want our hearts to be ready to learn and grow from hearing the messages of the Bible. Jesus said that God is like the farmer, and he gives us his word like seeds. Jesus said that there were some people who hear the word of God but then Satan comes and snatches away anything good that might have come into their lives, like a bird who gobbles up the seeds before they ever get planted. Then Jesus said some people are like rocks. There is nowhere for the roots to go down deep enough, so even if something grew, it wouldn't last very long. Seeds that fall on rocks, Jesus said, are like people who listen to the Bible but it doesn't really stick with faith when things start getting tough. It'd be, we'd be like coming to church a few times and sort of listening to the message, but then giving up if a challenge came up. And then there's the weeds. They are weeds and they're not good for healthy plants. We have to pick weeds out of the garden so they don't choke off all the good stuff. He said some people are like weeds. Maybe they come to church, but then other things come up, like sports or work or clubs or tournaments, things that get them distracted. And the gospel goes in one ear and out the other, not doing anything that would ever change their lives. Then Jesus described one other place for the seeds to potentially fall, and that's in the good soil. He said that some people will hear God's word, listen to it, and do what it says. Those people are like rich, healthy soil. They will have lives that bless others, just as good soil will provide a place for healthy plants to grow. We want our hearts to be like that good soil. What does that mean, though? 
And how can we make sure our hearts are in good soil places? It's quite simple, really. When we come to church or Sunday school or kids club, we pray and read our Bibles. We have to be ready for whatever God is going to do in our lives. We need to remember that the Bible is his word, not just a bunch of stories. We need to listen and think about what our teachers, our parents, our pastors are saying. The good thing is, these are not difficult things for us to do. Every week I share these stories and I tell you kids, I said, make sure you share these stories with others. Be the good seed. Not only share those stories, but pray to God every day and thank him for everything that you have. Be grateful, but share the word. And when I see you next Sunday, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to it. And ask yourselves this week, which seed are you? <laughs> Have a great day, and I will see you all in person next Sunday night. God bless.